cocktail one out of five. Uh, I've got a kind of lovely sort of coconut and vanilla riff on an espresso martini with uh, with Cascabel tequila. So I've got their Blanco and I've got their coconut tequila. I'm gonna shake it, it's gonna get served up in a lovely kind of old-fashioned coupe glass. Really love them. Really simple recipe, this one. Uh, I'm going for the Blanco tequila first and I want 25 ml of uh, Blanco tequila. Then I want another 25 ml of their um, sort of coconut tequila. This is absolutely delicious, real sort of vibrant notes of, of coconut coming off there. It's so liqueur strength, it's 35% ABV, but just works a treat. You could substitute this for other sort of coconut liqueurs, add a little bit more tequila, but this has still got a tequila bite. So 25 ml of uh, coconut tequila in there. Uh, and then to kind of give it, so we've got the coconut, we need that sort of vanilla um, sort of thing coming through. So I've got, I'm going for vanilla sugar syrup and I just want 15 mil of, of that. Here we go, one five. And I'm just gonna pep this up with a little bit of orange bitters. I've got, um, there's two types of orange bitters that I've got. They're my sort of go-to brand at the moment, Miss Better's Bitters, Orange Tree Bitters. But you could go, um, Angostura as well. Angostura for me, they, they are really, as, as like what you guess they are, they are very bitter uh, orange kind of, whereas the, um, the Ms. Betters bitters are very fresh and very vibrant, so I love using those bitters in my cocktails. And I just want for these, these are pipette based, and I just want about a quarter of a pipette of orange tree bitters going in there. And then the final ingredient is obviously our espresso. So I've just got some fresh espresso here and I just want about 35 mil. Three, five. And this, I've done plenty of videos on this. This is just um, instant espresso, but it's the uh, Nescafe and it's the proper stuff. It, it just works a treat if you're at home. So there we go, that's our ingredients. Plenty of tequila in there. Uh, I just need to shake this down. Wax some ice in there. Now, as always, uh, those regular viewers to my channel will know that I don't have names for my cocktails, so I need your, you guys to come up with name suggestions, so pop them in the comments below. Right, hard, fast shake, 10, 12 seconds. There. Right, let's just have a little quick sip of this. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> right, just gonna call the coconut notes coming off there. Just gonna double strain this. Perfect. There we go. That's in there. And then to garnish, you could obviously go um, coffee beans on top, but just to complement the orange notes in there, I'm just going for a little dehydrated orange wheel on top. Find a perfect one, there we go. And there we go, it's kind of a vanilla, a coconut, orange, sort of espresso martini. You really get those coconuts coming through, but that is lovely, not too sweet as well with the vanilla sugar, that is perfect. Cocktail number two is more of a fun, taller drink, bit more fruitier this one. I'm using their Cascabel again, I'm using their Reposado tequila, and I'm also gonna be using their honey tequila. The honey for me is a liqueur more than it is tequila. I don't really get the tequila notes on there, but as a honey liqueur, I don't think I've ever tasted better. That is absolutely phenomenal. So, uh, we're gonna make this in a cocktail shaker. Um, it's kind of like mango and a bit of chili going on here with kind of fresh ingredients as well. Really lovely this one, I love this. Right, 35 ml of uh, Reposado tequila. Three, five. Lovely jubbly. Then I'm going for 15, one five ml of this honey. Oh, it's just, it's so vibrant. Absolutely love that. Now you could substitute that for uh, a honey, bit more tequila and a bit of honey sugar syrup if you wanted to, uh, but I'm just using the tequila brand, it's lovely. Right, 15, one five mil of that. Now going into uh, some lime juice now, 15 mil of lime juice. Actually, let's go the other way around. Mango puree first. 
So I've just got, those of you no, need no introduction to this brand, ODK, Long Life, Shelf Stables, my sort of go-to, um, especially for cocktails at home because it just makes life so much easier. They're just shelf stable once opened. Keep for months and months and months. Right, 15 ml of mango puree, one at five. Lovely, jubbly. Right, now I can wash the measure out. 15 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice rid of all that mango puree then. Then I want um, some orgite, orjo, however you want to say it. I've got Cornish chav going on, so I always say orgite, but I think it's orjo, something like that. Anyway, 15 ml of that, which is kind of just um, an almond, vanilla, uh, orange uh, blossom, orange flower water in there as well. It's just a lovely, lovely syrup, that one. Then my second sugar syrup coming up is uh, a chili. Uh, sugar syrup. Now you could use fresh chilli if you wanted to. You could even make your own chilli syrup. Again, I just it's easy for me. Home bartenders just, I'm all about ease, so I buy it in at 10 ml. This is not overly sweet, this, but this has got a very big kick of chilli in there. So I'm just going 10 ml of chilli syrup. Now there is one more ingredient to come, but it's coming after the shake. So we just need to ice this down. Fill that up with ice. And as with the first cocktail, this hasn't got an aim either, so I need you to come up with name suggestions. Whack them in the comments box below. And I'll tell you why we want names for these in a minute. Right. When that is all nicely blended, oh, that, smells, that smells amazing. When that's all nicely blended together, I'm just going for my mixer now. It's a fizzy mixer. You could use lilt for this. I just, I did it in a, I was looking for some lilt last week. I just can't find any at the moment. I don't know why, I just cannot find lilt. Um, but I can get this really easily. It's Levi Roots Caribbean Crush. Essentially lilt, pineapple grapefruit with a subtle hint of mango in there. Lilt is without the, the mango. You could use ting as well, but I just love this with the pineapple notes in it. So I just want 50, five, zero mil for this. There we go. Lovely, jubbly. Now, um, if you were in a pub or bar, as I always say, fresh ice in there. Let's do it properly. Fresh ice. If you're at home, use the ice that's in there. Just pour that straight in. No great, no great dramas. And then we're just gonna single strain this one. Absolutely amazing. And a little bit off the top, we leave a bit of room just to make it look pretty. Love crowning it with crushed ice. And then garnish wise, wait if you fancy for this, I've got a pineapple spear here, so I'm going for a little, or pineapple leaf, whatever, I'll call them pineapple spears. Just a little bit of that, maybe a wedge of pineapple as well. There we go. So what are we calling this one, guys? Even that 15 mil of that just really punches through. That is, oh, and I get the chili after kick as well. That's a lovely. Mm. Wow, absolutely love that. But at a point in the video where I just love to give a big shout out to my Patreons. Thank you so much for your support. Your names will be uh, popping along the bottom of this video. My Patreon membership community is all about giving back. Um, as I used to say at the start of my videos, I basically love to help you drink, serve, and enjoy your favorite spirits, your favorite brands. I'm all about giving you drinks inspiration. And that is exactly what my Patreon is all about. Um, I've got weekly serve suggestions around a simple brand. I update my cocktail book every, each and every month. So that's why I need your name recipes to go into my cocktail book. We have at least 10, if not 20 recipes in there every single month. I've got videos of helping you uh, training bar staff how to do the regular cocktails. I just love giving back. So why don't you go and check out my Patreon and see if it's for you. So cocktail number three coming out. We're going back to Reposado Tequila again. Uh, this cocktail is kind of a margarita versus um, kind of a mojito sort of thing going on there. But 
with a fruity watermelon flip. So I really, really love this cocktail. This is perfect summer drink. So I'm gonna make it this is my julep glass. All my glasses and all that come from drink stuff. Um, but what we're gonna do with this one, I'm just gonna make it straight in the glass, actually. So the first ingredient I want is uh, some mint leaves. I want about um, six to eight decent mint leaves. Just picking them off, that'll do. And then I'm just gonna keep one for my garnish. Where's a nice little sprig. That one looks good. Yes, there we go. There we go, that's the garnish. Right, one more for luck. So, eight, eight mint leaves, palm in hand. We're just gonna give them a spank. And that just awakes the aroma and that's what you want. Beautiful, delicate aromas going in there. Right, next ingredient. I'm going straight for my watermelon puree. Uh, again, as I say, brand needs no introduction, long life, shelf stable, even once open, keeps for months and months and months. You can drink stuff as your go-to people for these in the UK. 20, you could use watermelon juice or something like that. These are just thick and concentrated, but watermelon juice, fresh watermelon would work if you want to muddle some fresh watermelon down, not a problem. Right, 20 ml of watermelon puree in there. Now you could, if you wanted to, I personally don't think you ever need to, but you could if you wanted to, just use the flat end of a bar spoon and just sort of press the mint down just to wake those aromas even more, but I don't think you need to. Right, uh, we are going for, that's for lemon juice, don't lemon juice, we want lime juice, fresh lime juice. Uh, 25 ml of lime juice, just get the rest of the watermelon puree out there as well. Uh, 50 ml double bubble of your Reposado tequila. 50 ml. Now with the margarita element, you've also normally got some kind of orange liqueur, triple sec or things like that. This is my go-to orange liqueur. I've fallen in love with this brand, absolutely lovely. Fortunella, it's actually, uh, so it is an orange liqueur, I think Grand Marnier sort of thing, but it's actually kumquat based. Oh, it is so delicious, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, so, so good. Really good, really vibrant. Right, 15, one five mil of Fortunella. And then two more ingredients to come. The first of which is some grenadine. I just want 10 ml of grenadine. And then the final ingredient, okay, 10 ml of that. The final ingredient is some bitters. Now I'm going for Ms. Betters Bitters Lime Leaf Bitters. There are lime bitters on the market as well you could use. You could, if you really wanted to, sort of use the zest of a lime as well, fresh lime, sort of just peel the zest and get those in there. But these bitters are really great. Kind of the lime, the sort of really punches through there. Now that's actually about perfect. So I want about a quarter of a pipette of lime leaf. That'll be sort of the equivalent two, three dashes of lime leaf bitters. Right, that's essentially the cocktail finish. This is a crushed ice one. So I'm just gonna pop a bit of crushed ice in there. I'm just gonna churn that through now, as, as always. You know, this is another cocktail that needs your name suggestions. So help me out with a name. Let's just bring the limes, the um, mint to the top. Top that up with more crushed ice. Now if you've got some watermelon at home, if you've used fresh watermelon, garnish with uh, watermelon. But I've just got a sprig of mint there. Look at that, vibrant red. What does this taste like? Straw always goes beside the mint, so you get the mint aromas. Oh, that, that doesn't get lost at all in the slightest. The lime, the fresh lime, you do get the subtle hints of the orange liqueur coming through. But the watermelon, man. something about watermelon and tequila, I don't know what it is, it just works. Cocktail number four is kind of a riff on a famous tequila cocktail, the El Diablo, but I'm mixing a couple of ingredients up here. This is a Blanco tequila cocktail. Do you know what, Blanco and Reposado, they sort of are a little bit interchangeable, especially when you add um, sort of fruity notes to a drink as well. But I just think this works perfectly with the Blanco tequila. Uh, this is a cocktail shaker jobby, so gonna get served up in a highball glass. So I'm going 50 ml 
of uh, sort of Blanco tequila, five zero. Then I'm going for some freshly squeezed lime juice, of which I just want 20 mil of that, two zero. Then we get into our sort of fruitier, fun stuff. So the first bit, uh, the El Diablo is cassis, so black currant. I'm going actually creme de mur, which is blackberry. Um, and this is lovely, really love this. So blackberry liqueur, creme de mur, uh, 15 mil of that. Uh, the next liqueur I'm going for, because I just love uh, blackberry and ginger put together, I'm going for King's Ginger, ginger liqueur. So I just want another 15 mil of this. It's quite punchy, 41%, I can never remember. 41% ABV, so quite a punchy one, this. So 15 mil of that. And then just to sort of add a final touch of balance, uh, I love using agave, agave nectar in tequila cocktails. So I'm just going at 15, one five, just to add a touch more sort of sweetness in there, because the line will come through. 15 mil of agave. Right, there's one more ingredient coming after the shake, but we need to ice this down. So fill out with ice, you know what's coming, I need your name suggestions. Don't forget, so whack your suggestions in the comments below. Good hard and fast shake for this one. Right. Oh, the tequila. Tequilos are the big notes I get on that one. Then the final ingredient, I'm just going for some Sprite, some lemon lime soda uh, for this one. Slightly different to lemonade, I just stick that little bit of extra sort of lime, lemon lime soda that's in there, just comes through. So 50 ml double bubble of Sprite. Or seven up, whatever you got. Right, uh, fresh ice, or if you're at home, just pour that in. Jubbly, just gonna single strain. There we go, right? Uh, a little bit of crushed ice just on top, and then garnish wise, uh, I'm going for a sprig of mint, and I've actually got uh, that'll do that one there. Sprig of mint, and I've actually got a couple of frozen. I've always got frozen blackberries in the freezer. So, a couple of frozen blackberries on there. If you've got fresh blackberries, again, absolutely fine. Right, taste. Oh, that is so, that is so good. Nice hot summer's day. The tequila massively punches through in that. But with the little hint of ginger, in there and the very subtle blackberry notes. You could, the blackberry gives a little bit more sweetness than something like Chambord, but you could use Chambord if you wanted to. That is good. I'm not a huge fan of the uh, El Diablo, but that with the ginger, oh, really, really good. Right then, so your fifth and final cocktail. I figured, you know what, if you've got some watermelon uh, for that cocktail, we might as well crack out another watermelon cocktail. So slightly different, I'm using the coconut tequila as the base, as I said earlier when I made um, the drinks earlier, this is very much a tequila at heart with a subtle hint of coconut. You could just use normal uh, tequila in there, maybe even some coconut puree, coconut syrup, if you wanted to. Uh, I just think the coconut watermelon is a big favorite of mine. Right, really simple cocktail this one, five ingredients. I'm gonna start off with the watermelon puree. As I say, if you've got fresh watermelon, you know, just absolutely fine, watermelon juice, whatever you wanna use. Uh, but I've just got puree, long life, shelf stable. Uh, 20 mil, do that first and then I can wash the, pure, the measure out with the rest of the ingredients. So 20 mil of watermelon puree, I want some freshly squeezed lime juice. Uh, 15 mil of freshly squeezed lime juice. Here we go. And I'm going back to my orange uh, liqueur again, Fortunella, again, Grand Marnier, triple sec if you want, but I just, I just really, really love that. Uh, so 15 mil of that. 
I just need my um, my tequila now, so I'm going 50 mil double bubble of this, and as I say, it's 34%, so it's got quite a good kick to it. Uh, all the watermelon's gone, so 50 mil double bubble of coconut tequila. The final ingredient comes after the shake, so ice this down. Then get your name suggestions coming. Coconut. Oh, coconut watermelon. What suggestions are you coming up with? Right, let's give this a good hard fast shake. Right, there we go. Oh, 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 that smells so good. Right, and then for this one, uh, for the size of the glass, I've just got some ginger, ginger ale now, or Canada Dry, um, whatever your favourite ginger ale is. You just want 50, maybe 75, I'm just going 50 mil, just for the size of that glass. Really fizzy. There you go, 50 mil, double bubble in there. Right, fresh ice in there. Or as I say, if you're at home, just pour that ice in, it's absolutely fine. No need to be all pretentious, do it. Right. Pour that in, single strain. There you go, perfect. This is a, I think it's just slightly under a 14 ounce glass. So you might adjust it. If you've got bigger highballs at home, you might want to adjust it just slightly, a bit more ginger ale. Straw, and then again, mint. Let's go back to mint, mint and watermelon. If you've got a fresh watermelon at home, again, it's fine. Yeah, that's brick. All right. So, which one, which one's gonna be my favorite? Let's put that back. Where are we going? Right. Oh, that is so, oh, that is so easily drinkable. Oh, which one do we think, guys? Which one would you order? Ah, uh, that was the fourth one, third one, second one, first one. Oh, oh, so good. I think, for me, that one just slightly tips it, number two. Mm. There isn't a bad one. Oh, do you know what? I'm so happy with all of those. There isn't a bad one amongst them. I would quite happily serve all of those five up on a party.